Next, we are going to learn about if statement in Visual Basic.net. For this, I am on a blank form. The very first tool that I am going to drag and drop is a label. Then I am going to provide a name to the label. Next, I am going to drag and drop a text box. Next, I am going to drag and drop a button. And let's name the button as greetings or I'll say greet. So what happens if a person enters their country name, for example, India, and if you click on greet, it will greet you in Hindi Namaste. Similar way, if a person enters any other language, let's say Spanish, German, you know, French, any country name that you enter, the moment you click on greet, it is going to greet the person in the country's language. So let's see how we can program this. For this, I'm going to double click on the greet button and now remove the properties panel at the moment and start writing the code. What I need, I need a variable to store the country name. Let's create a variable. So the variable is created. Now, how do you pass the value of the country name? Remember, the user enters the country name in the text box. So you have to use the dot text property of the text box to pass the value. Let's see how you can do this. So this way, whatever the person has entered in the text box, the value will be passed to the string country name variable. The very first thing, let's learn how to write the if statement. I'm going to say if and hit on space and use your variable name. So here the variable name is country name. I'm going to hit on tab. And then what is your condition? So for that, I'll use a equals to symbol and then write the value. So the country name, if it is India, then what you want, right? Now look at it. What is wrong here? So here I'm said if string country name equals to India, then what would you like to do? You have to write it. So let's say I would like to show a message box. So I'll say message box dot show. And then I'm going to type a message. Let's say Namaste. This is what the message I would like to show. Now what you see on my screen, it is a single liner if statement. What it is, it is a single liner if statement. Everything is written in single line. And you can see very well how it is written. It's more like how you talk. If country name equals to India, then show the message Namaste. You can see how pretty simple the statement is. Now let's run this and see what happens. Let me run it. Okay, so the box has appeared. Let me enter a value here. Let me enter India and hit on greed. So what, what I'm seeing? Namaste as an output I am seeing. Now, what if I type India in capital letter? Let's say I'm typing like this. Click on greed. Now we can see nothing is happening. Is there something wrong in my code? Or something else I have to change here? Look at it when I'm typing India in capital, the same thing is not working. The moment I type India this way, it works. Now, what is wrong here? Let's go back to the code. Remember the value that you supply here is case sensitive. What it is? It is case sensitive. And the user that enters the value in the text box, he can enter any which ways he wants while typing. So what we will do, we will slightly change the code. I'm going to use the same variable and going to use another method called to upper. So what is the meaning of to upper? is going to you know take that value whatever value is entering and everything is going to convert into uppercase so that means my output should be equals to everything in uppercase so what i have written india in uppercase now this way it can deal two different situations let me run it again 
for example i am typing india in this way and hit on greet you can see it is showing me the message if i type india in capital doesn't matter how you enter it is going to convert everything to uppercase you can see namaste has appeared so it can handle various dynamic situations now now let's do one thing let's go to google so we have got few countries and how they say it okay so namaste now in france they say bonjour uh, so different different languages are there let's take the example of france now let's go back to our code now all i have to do this is a single liner because i have to deal with multiple countries i have to write multi liner if statement so what you do keep the mouse cursor before message box and hit on enter so you can see the moment i do this visual basic dot net automatically adds the end if to it this is the if and end if now in between let's say i would like to write few more conditions so how will you write else if what is this else if and then i will say string country name equals to in double quote i am going to say france okay and if you have to deal the same way two dot upper let's say that two upper and write everything in capital okay and i'll say then then you show a message box and what would like to show go back to google let me copy this and simply paste it here understanding how the if and else if is written pretty simple now let's run it once save it run it now let me type france hit on greet you can see bonjour this is how the greet has appeared similar way for multiple countries let me do it for one more country i'll write again else if the same statement we can also copy paste the same statement entirely copy and here i am going to paste it and all i have to do change it let's go back to google let's say spanish hola i'll take this so i'll copy this word hola so instead of bonjour i am going to paste it here and the country name is for spain so i'll say capital spain so this is how you will continue for multiple countries if you would like to show it let me hit on enter uh, let me save it and run it let's let me type spain greet and you can see hola so you can see how your code is slowly improving and as many countries you would like to include you can include let's say once it is done for any other country that you have not included how would you like to show the message so i'm going to keep the mouse cursor here hit on enter and simply say else and hit on enter so automatically the alignment will happen now here i would like to show a message which would be a blank message so i'll copy this paste it and simply i say hello for anyone where you have not coded for that country it will by default it is going to say hello let's see how it works let me save this and run this code and let's say i'm going to say the country name is uk greet it said hello let me say country name is japan any country that you have not added into the code it is going to show hello let me type france greet you can see bonjour so now you can see how the application is smart enough to speak the way it is designed to greet the way it is designed so this is how you can continue to write more number of else if else if statement to ensure you occupy more number of countries so this is a way to in as a beginner to learn how the if statement works